Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to experiment and see if I can unsublimate some coffee mugs that I messed up on. Um, it's easy to mess up and I have watched and read many things that you are able to um, unsublimate, unsublimate <laughs> a um, a coffee mug or a tumbler by baking it about the same amount as you do to sublimate and but for a lot longer timing so we're gonna experiment I'll let you know um, I'll keep you guys updated as we go but I'm gonna do a fast run of what the um, oh man <laughs> what my mistakes look like before and then after okay Right, you guys here are my mistakes these three were not baked long enough at high enough temperature I didn't let it get high enough this one um, I ended up not baking it long enough at a hot enough temperature because I was worried about what my temperature gauge said other times I was doing it and it was um, I didn't know what my temperature was my first couple of times I did my cups and they turned out better. So this time I'm gonna set it and I'm not gonna watch my temperature. Tumblers, I'm gonna watch my temperature because I seem to be on, on kinda almost getting at good temperature and timing. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pay attention close to that, but um for these coffee mugs um when i sublimate i'll watch and see what the temperature says but i'm going to leave it to what i did when i first started sublimating with my convection oven which i will back up there's my convection oven and then of course this one as you can tell look at it see it's upside down <laughs> make sure you double check before you sublimate yeah it's bad plus i used my heat press and my heat press left um really faded here so yeah hopefully hopefully next time i make another one it'll look better and i won't be using my heat press so all right i'll let you know i'll come back when my oven is up to heat and i put them in um i want to turn them first hold on one second i want to kind of show you what they look like so you can see so Sorry, you guys, if you hear any of that in the background. Let's see, this one I'm worried about because it's really dark. But, you know, I'll figure it out. And if anything, I won't resell them, but I'll just put designs on them for me and my family to enjoy the cups. Because these are nice cups. These are cricket style. So, all right, you guys, I'll be back. When this gets up to heat, we will put them in and see how long it takes to fade them. All right. So it's been running for a while. I do have a temperature thing in there and it says it's about 425. Normally I only put three cups in because I, uh, it's a little hot up there because for sublimating, I wanted to have a lot of air, but I'm going to try to put four in there. Yeah, so it's a little warm, but we'll be all right. All right, you guys. So I am going to put these for a half hour and then we will be back. Okay, you guys, I decided while I wait a little bit, I am going to prep two cups, coffee cups, to run. Since this thing is going to be nice and hot, or coffee wants to be sublimated, we're going to bring these two bad boys off. Same, these are Cricut, Cricut brand. I use rubbing alcohol and a um, eyeglass cleaning thing. Uh, there we go. We got two to do. I already cut them to normal. So, like I said earlier, make sure your words are up. But you owe us. Definitely up this time. 
It's like, oh, there's a mistake I do not want to do again. That was kind of, like, oh. And that was a, that was supposed to go to my friend that just started her own um, salon. Trying to make this about as even as possible. There you go. I'm going to say that's pretty good. Okay. And you can take dispenser. two pieces at one time. That's fine. There's tape and oh there's another two pieces. Oh, it's probably because my tapes are too close, but that's all right. You definitely did. I'm going to tape. And that's all right because we want this nice and tight. doing this in a different area than I normally do. I normally use my table. I thought I might as well hang out by my oven. Kind of watch it. Make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And yeah, it's pretty snuggy. I don't know how much it's really fading in there you guys. We can turn it and look real fast. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I mean, if anything, oh well, huh? Turn this one. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to do some long pieces of tape. A little, a little fold at the end. And we're going to tape it nice and tight all the way around. Coffee mug. Oh, or as far as it'll go. This one a little tab. It's nice and tight right there. Also want it to be sealed at the ends. A little off on there, but that's fine. Use lots of tape. That's what I have learned. Oh, come on. Ah, it's not cutting. There we go. Right there, we're gonna fold it. Put it on there. I like to hold it and pull it. Hold it and pull it. Kind of follow my other hand or my hand that's holding the mug. It's a little much on that one, but we're just we're just gonna like <laughs> make a little pull tap. Whatever. It really don't matter as long as it's pulled tight. Uh, nothing has to be perfect on these. Tab. Just make all kinds of little tabs. I mean, they'll get folded over and taped in. But it, it's fine. I don't know. After you put your round at the top all the way around, then you go through and you put your all the way down on the top and the bottom. Because once you sublimate 
I'm going to take this all this tape off. If you find the end that you put your little tabby on on both the top and the bottom when you do the whole entire round, you can pull that piece of tape with the tab on it all the way up and it just like makes all the little pieces that you're putting on right now come out. <laughs> missed it. So we can just do this. Gives us a little something to do while we wait for the cups to unsublimate, to sublimate, hopefully. Hopefully I can resublimate them. They're starting to look a little faded. The timer says we have 13 minutes and 51 seconds left, so out of 20 or out of a half hour it's not too bad you guys we'll see we will see oh, my little. I have to order more tape soon We'll um we'll pull those out and or look at them a little bit and see how they look after um a half hour of baking at what I say about 425. You can start seeing where they're a little bit fading. The purple one is in the front, which isn't looking the very much faded, but we'll see. Then I use my silicone. I like to Use a clean lint roller for this. Because um, these things like to static clean everything. And right now, where I live, it's winter, which means extra dry. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'll be right back. I need to go get my butcher paper. But extra dry weather. I'll be right back. Put your paper so you don't get any ink on your silicone. And tape it on there. Roll it. And tape it on the other end. But your paper doesn't have to be extremely tight on there. It just needs to be on there so no um, ink will get on your silicone. So I'm going to try to even out my cup on my silicone mat or oh, what is it? Wrap. Not a mat. It's a wrap. Alright. Tighten it. There we go. And kind of peek. Here's where my image stops image stops up in the same spot. I'm pretty happy with how it clamped down. But um, I'm going to finish through the other one. And we got 10 minutes left, you guys. I'll be back when we're done, when this goes off. All right, you guys, that's the sound of a half hour being over. I'm going to turn the oven. I use my oven timer. And I'm going to look. It's be hot. Holy moly. And yeah, I have not gotten my heat resistant gloves. I know my friends always get on me for it. It's it's fading it. Look at this one. It's almost gone. We're gonna switch these around. 
It shows that it's still brown. I'm going to put this one down. It's starting to get warm. I'm using my extra large hot pad for now with it. This one's almost gone, too. We're going to put them in for a little longer. It's always an experiment. I'm going to move them around a little bit, though. Ooh, that is a little toasty, you guys. I'm move this in. I have elements at the bottom and top of my thing. So, I mean, it's, it's getting there. We're going to put them back in. I have my two ready to go to actually be sublimated. But until these are done, there is not going to be any sublimating going. <laughs> so we're going to give them a little bit more time. So we're going to say, um, I don't know, another 15 minutes and we'll watch it, okay? We will be back. Okay, you guys, I want to come back and tell you I did a little bit of change up. I, um turned them upside down it looked like they were more fading at the bottom so I turned them upside down so hopefully it helps fade the lower or it'd be the upper half of the cups um so now 15 minutes when turned upside down we'll see how it looks if they don't look like they're faded any much more might turn it up to um another 15 after this one so it'd be about an hour um just to see because with me opening it up and leaving it open that means that the um temperature has went down also so we'll see um i just wanted to update you guys on my changes be back in a bit Open it up and look and see now. See, this one's looking like his letters are coming off better now. I'm going to leave it in a little longer yet. Move it out of the way. Ooh, that's hot. Yep, the purple's coming off better too. Same, I don't really know what I'm going to do with these though after, after I get it, you know, what I'm going to be able to put on them. This one's almost gone. Yeah, that'd be something darker. This one is still being a turd. It really doesn't want to come off. We're gonna put that back in there again. We're gonna put this back in there again. All right, you guys, we're gonna do this another 15 minutes, and after an hour of them baking, if if it's not off there anymore. Then we're going to call it good and um, we'll try to sublimate with something darker in the future. Alright you guys, I'm back and it was time. So this is an hour. An hour of this running. This is the one, the yellow one that I made that didn't get done very well. I don't know if that's dirty or what that is on there. I mean, it's still got some but this is just gonna have to be a darker, a darker print for next time, which all of them will be no matter what. It's fine. Maybe I'll print something on there for all of them. That came out a little bit better. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. You could still see the writing and that there was a picture on that one. Um, this one. And you can still see what was on there. But, hey, you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. This one. That one didn't do very good at all. <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. Yeah. Oh, well, though. But you can, you can get some of it off. It fades it. It does not fully come off. Um, but I'm going to try to take you guys off, oops, off of there and bring you closer up. But there you guys go. It's a little hard to show you guys without touching them. And my camera's backwards to me, so. 
Well, there you guys go. You can burn off most sublimation. I mean, if you remember, this one right here was dark purple. So, I mean, it's pretty close to being done. Not too, too bad. There's some pictures on these ones. But I am I will try my... Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, try my hardest to um, find a couple of designs to... Um, sorry, guys. Try to do um, different... Um, sorry, I'm trying to close my oven some different designs, some darker designs, and I will resublimate on video to show you guys if it will or will not work. If it doesn't, I mean, I'm out for coffee mugs, but they're still drinkable. I'll still use them here. I don't really care. But anyways, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me and have a wonderful evening. And if you enjoyed any of my content, please consider subscribing and liking this video and leave comments below um, if there's anything else you guys think I could have done differently. And don't worry, that's that's a pot of steam going. <laughs> All right, bye, you guys. Good night. Thank you. All right, you guys. So here they are. They're cold, so I can actually touch them real fast for you. So, I mean, some of them I probably won't be able to reuse um, and put anything really too detailed except for something dark on them. That's fine. They'll just be for me, and if they turned out nice enough, maybe just to give to a friend. And by the way, look at that. That is my extra large pot holder. But there you guys go. Bye, and thank you for watching.